Chimney Solar Dryer Making a food dehydrator that doesn't rely on electricity to preserve food longer isn't as tough as you might think. Researchers from the University of California, Davis, are showing just how doable it is. First, you start by putting together the frame of the main part, which only requires a small amount of wood. The pieces are connected, and then a black cloth is stretched and secured over them. After that, you simply assemble the second part of the drying system, a kind of chimney. Its assembly follows similar steps, except that in the end, the frame is covered not with black cloth, but with transparent film. Then both parts are connected, a pole is attached above the main part, and then it's fully covered with the same film used for the chimney. That's it, the dryer's ready. Finally, mesh shelves with vegetables, fruits, or any other products needing extended shelf life are placed under the film of the main part. This setup, made from basic materials, works by heating up the items inside with sunlight, causing them to lose moisture. The moisture then exits the system along with the airflow through a chimney. Tent Sauna you carry a 50-pound bag, then take a moment to do some simple steps, voila, a tent appears. So do you have a shelter now? Not quite, because Sweat Tent Company has designed a tent designed specifically for effective heating. There's a heating device inside it. It's a wood stove that heats the portable sauna to 200 degrees Fahrenheit in just 30 minutes. Yes, this sauna doesn't need electricity, and you can really warm up in there. The tent sauna is a bit less sturdy than traditional saunas, but that's about it. However, even though the wind can blow away a tent, Sweat Tent Company is equipped it with a fiberglass roof. This means it can withstand any weather conditions, allowing a couple to enjoy healthy procedures without worrying about the weather. And if you're planning to enjoy the warmth with a larger group, the company offers an XL sauna tent. Of course, it comes at a higher price, $1,800 compared to $1,400 for the regular version. Solar Bug Zapper Can you get rid of mosquitoes and other pesky bugs using solar power? Absolutely, thanks to a device from Pestrol, it's totally possible. First, you'll need to put together the device. This can be done quickly and easily without any fancy tools. All you need is the instructions and some basic assembly skills, and voila, the device is ready to start its useful task. Now let's talk about how to get rid of bugs using solar power. The device gets energy from a solar panel on top, then it uses that energy to electrify a grill inside the casing, which is what zaps the bugs. The bugs are attracted by LEDs placed also inside the protective casing. You'll have to shell out a solid $400 for this gadget, but for this price, you're getting a bug zapper that protects a large area of 3,200 square feet, all powered by the sun. It's interesting that the mentioned device has a natural counterpart that doesn't cost a penny. Citronella, a plant, might not completely rid you of bugs, but its lovely fragrance makes pests lose interest in humans. Aquabloom You only need this device, a tube, and a container of water to set up a simple irrigation system for your plants. The main component of this system can be placed almost anywhere using its holder. It has a pump for drawing water and a control unit, and it runs entirely on its built-in small solar panels. And if it's nighttime, no problem, the device has an internal battery that charges during the day and lets Aqua Bloom work even when the sun isn't out. The main device connects to a bucket using a tube. This tube is then extended to the plants needing water. Small sprinklers are responsible for watering, releasing just enough droplets for efficient irrigation without a heavy flow. Droplets can be sprayed in various ways. The creators at Gardena integrated 14 watering modes into the main component of the system to meet the needs of seasoned gardeners. It's worth mentioning that Aqua Bloom might not be the best fit for a large garden. According to the manufacturer, one kit is designed to water 20 plants. Therefore, it's best suited for watering plants on balconies or in small home gardens. Solar Electric Fence 
Putting up a simple fence for livestock isn't too hard. You just need some posts, wire, and you're good to go. But let's face it, that kind of fence isn't foolproof when it comes to keeping animals from escaping. That's where the Gallagher Solar Fence Energizer comes in handy. It electrifies the fence, giving it an extra layer of security. It's worth noting that while the electric shock might startle the animal, it's much safer than barbed wire, which can cause serious skin damage. To enhance the effectiveness of the fence, you need to ground the device using either a post or a metal stake, then connect the device to the fence itself or a coil linked to the fence. Simply press the power button and the fence will receive a voltage ranging from 500 to 1800 volts depending on the version. When your fence is really long, you'll likely require numerous devices, but you know what really matters then? Making sure you don't have to constantly maintain voltage generators even in harsh weather. Well, Gallagher nailed it. Of course, the devices are waterproof and can handle temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, during tests, the devices kept working even after being melted at a temperature of 350 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Solar Cooker Have you ever seen a cooker that's assembled so effortlessly? As you unpack this small box, you suddenly have this big, flat thing with lots of oddly shaped parts. You simply fold and snap various parts into place and voila, your cooking device is good to go. Food will cook just as quickly if you place it right in the center of the bottom part. Since the inside of the oven is made of reflective material, sunlight will focus on where the food is. So in just a few tens of minutes, your food will be almost fully cooked, if not completely. It's amazing that even though the cooker looks fragile, like it's made of cardboard, it's actually made from polypropylene. That means this cooking gadget can take on a bit of weight. If you're up for some unconventional cooking and don't have a fancy oven, here's another option, your car. Just place your dish on the dashboard where the sun can work its magic and your food will cook up nicely. No sunshine, no worries, your car's engine can do the job. Biogas Plant One of the most unusual ways to get fuel is through systems that turn organic waste into biogas. Systems consist of several components, with the main one being the digester. It can come in various sizes and shapes, but most often it resembles a bag-like reservoir. This choice is popular because such objects are easy to install and maintain. Inside the digester, conditions are created for organic waste to be transformed into biogas by microorganisms. Next, the collected biogas can either be stored or immediately put to use. If stored, the gas travels through pipelines into reservoirs, which resemble large bags. Or if used right away, the gas is directed either into a generator to produce electricity or into special stoves for cooking. It's worth noting that installing this kind of system at home is easy, requiring little effort and time, especially if you go for bags instead of other, much more complicated waste storage and conversion setups for biogas. Here's why sacks are a good choice for storing biogas. You can easily carry them, even on your back. It's not the safest option, but it's convenient. Solar Patio If you have a few hours to spare, a couple of buddies, and some DIY skills, you can create more than just a shelter from rain and sun for your home. You can build a canopy that also generates power. The structure is assembled quite simply and in a way similar to traditional canopies. Beams are first set up, then they're connected to the building using other components. After that, beams are installed between the two sides of the canopy, which will support the roof in the future. The construction process then changes slightly. Instead of using shingles typically found on traditional roofs, solar panels are installed on the structure. They're mounted with similar effort and time, if not easier, and at comparable costs. However, the significant difference lies in the benefits that come with having solar panels instead of a regular roof. Homeowners receive a surge of energy, especially with larger canopies. This happens without sacrificing the perks of traditional canopies. Solar panels also offer protection from rain and shade from the sun. And rest assured, their durability means there's no need to worry about damage from the elements. Solar Tracker a solar panel's efficiency varies throughout the day. 
but this can be improved by integrating it into a system that automatically tracks the sun. The transformation happens thanks to one crucial component, the base from EcoFlow. You just need to place the solar panel on it, which shouldn't weigh more than 55 pounds and be wider than 4 feet. As long as these conditions are met, you're good to start harnessing as much solar energy as possible. How does the base adjust the panel's position? It's about a tracker that senses sunlight. Using the sunlight data it gathers, it moves the panel to get the best performance. However, achieving maximum productivity might be challenging during severe weather conditions. According to the company, the system can withstand winds of only up to 31 miles per hour, yet rain won't be a problem for the energy harvesting device since the panels themselves are made highly resistant to moisture and the EcoFlow base has a high level of protection. Solar Air Heaters You can use the sun to heat up not just water, but also the air around you. Solar air heaters consist of a panel that lets sunlight through its front side. As a result, the air inside heats up, enters the device, and exits through two openings in the wall. It's a simple invention that doesn't even need solar panels to work. However, as you may have noticed, some air heater models do have panels nearby. These panels aren't just there for show, they actually help boost the efficiency of the air heating system. How? Well, the solar panels power fans that push up airflow, making the whole heating process more effective. The installation process is fairly simple. The hardest part is making holes in the wall. After that, you just have to install the wall brackets and connect the fans to the solar panels if those components are included in your system. Even if you decide to make a similar panel at home, it's definitely possible as you can see in this video. Surprisingly, it doesn't take a lot of effort or time. However, there is a downside. You'll need to spend some money on materials. Solar Lighting Towers Thanks to Wanco's mobile towers, even the darkest night in a remote location is no longer a problem. Of course, the towers can light up the area thanks to the solar panels. There are four of them, and when they're being transported, they don't take up much space because they're stacked on top of each other. But once the trailer tower reaches its destination, the panels can be quickly and easily unfolded to start charging the batteries, which really come in handy at night. When the batteries are sufficiently charged, the tower can do the job it was designed to do. Like the panels, the mast has two forms transportation and working. In its transportation form, it's relatively compact, but in working mode, it extends to 24 feet in height. Naturally, this increases the illuminated area. According to its creators, the tower has 10 brightness levels ranging from 10 to 100%. Each level is remarkably efficient, making the lighting very bright while consuming less energy. Additional efficiency can be achieved by programming the tower to illuminate only at specific times. Homemade Wind Turbine In the video, a guy's taking on the challenge of building something many green energy enthusiasts dream of. Yep, he's crafting a wind turbine, and not just any kind, it's a vertical axis one, which is trickier to design than the horizontal axis ones. Setting up requires quite a few materials and tools. The creator's website has a list that includes a whopping 19 items, but there aren't any complex parts or materials involved. For instance, two bicycle wheels serve as the main supporting elements for the whole structure. Overall, the creator fashioned the wind turbine out of scrap metal and all in just over three hours. Surprisingly enough, the makeshift wind turbine actually works. Even more surprising, it can withstand winds reaching up to 65 miles per hour. Unfortunately, the creator hasn't mentioned much about its performance, except that it can produce around 500 watts of power when the wind speed hits 31 miles per hour. But even if the actual numbers are much lower, nobody's blaming the creator. Seriously, the turbine costs anywhere from $15 to $30. It hasn't fallen apart, and it's doing its job. That's definitely a win. And here's a makeshift horizontal axis device crafted mainly from scrap materials. However, this one relied more on wood. This probably made the wind turbine cheaper to build, making it a great option for the most budget-conscious green energy enthusiasts. Awe System 
Two seemingly odd small pieces come together to form a single large stick. Then a sail is attached to it along with a reel. It's only when the testers start using the contraption on video that it becomes clear it's a kite. With just two minutes of setup, you can harness wind power for both energy and movement. Check out this video where a boat is propelled solely by a kite cruising along at a decent speed. Though Pacific Sky Power claims that their device is primarily designed for kite surfing, that's why it's made from simple yet durable materials that can handle tough marine conditions. As for energy generation, the company tested the system on land and found that it can produce 24 watts when the wind speed is 15 miles per hour. So this device could be used as a way to generate power in emergency situations when other options are unavailable. 